Hi, and thank you for joining us here at Tax Talk UK, where we talk about all things tax and other important aspects of working for yourself and running a small business. We've been asked to talk a little bit about um, what to do if your customers aren't paying you. So that is what I am going to talk about today. Um, before I do, if I could please ask you to take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll easily be able to refer back to this information should you need to, as well as finding other information that we have all, all with the aim of um, supporting you in your, in your self-employment. So um, let's talk a little bit then about what to do if your customers aren't paying you. How can you ensure that your customers do pay you and how can you ensure that you're being paid as quickly as possible? So, of course, this is going to be determined by um, by your actual what, what you're actually doing. If, of course, you are um, you are selling items um, and you're you're having the payment at the time of the purchase, then it won't really apply to you because you'll you'll make your sale and you'll be paid at the point of sale. Um, but there will be some instances where you are um, you are giving your customers a little bit of time um, to pay. Um, so in that scenario, there's always the danger, of course, that, that you may not receive payment. So, of course, you want to firstly mitigate that to make sure that that scenario happens as little as um, possible. And also you want to, um, to deal with it in the best way um, the most professional way and ultimately the way that gets you the most um, the most payment and the quickest payment um, if you are in that scenario. So um, firstly, of course, it's it's really important to um, to to make sure that you are presenting your um, your invoice to your um, customer in the most um, simplest way, the way that's easiest for um, for them to, um, to to see clearly. Um, this is what this is what um, you did for them. And this is the cost. This is what they um, at the amount that they need to pay and also give them the details on your invoice, how to pay. Um, obviously, ideally, if they pay it straight into your bank account, then that's the least effort for you to get paid. So put your bank details on the um, on the invoice and and ask them to pay that um, that that route. If they want to pay by check, make sure you tell them who the check should be payable to and and how to send that to you. Of course, not some people these days don't even have a checkbook, so um, you can't really rely um, on that. Um, and of course, if they give you cash for the um, for the payment of the invoice, make sure that you did, do give them a receipt for that cash so that they feel confident that you have recorded that they've paid um, paid what they owe. So these are the things that the, at the point of sale, obviously, make sure you get the invoice out um, in a timely manner. Um, there's no point in um, waiting until you've run out of money and then thinking, oh, yes, I've not invoiced um, any of my customers for the last three months, um, because this will reduce the 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 um, chance of um, getting paid um, it potentially at all because people um, will have forgotten it doesn't mean that they're not they don't have to um, pay you I'm not saying that if you don't get the invoice to them in a certain amount of time means that they don't have to pay but of course um, you just want to make it as easy as possible so think from yourself if you um, purchase something or had a service and you didn't get an invoice for three months, it, it could be that you've forgotten about that and then you had um, not got the money set aside. Um, not everybody runs their finances um, in a super duper organized way. So, so that's a, a key thing, get the invoices out um, um, promptly to your, to your customers. Um, monthly statements is another thing to talk about. So um, especially these days, a lot of invoices go by email. So um, prior to email, we would receive an invoice in the post. You then physically got a piece of paper that you perhaps pop on your desk or on your notice board. Um, so a visual, uh, like a, an actual reminder that I haven't paid that bill, must pay that, must pay that invoice. Um, so with an email, 
Um, it could be that the person um, sort of misses the email. It could go into their spam. Um, lots of different reasons, but it could just get forgotten because um, you, the next day it's sort of fallen down their, their inbox. Um, again, not everybody is super duper organized with their um, emails, so, so it can easily be um, overlooked. So if you're finding um, an issue with people noticing that they've received email invoices, perhaps just a little text as you send it, um, just a just a courtesy text. I've just emailed your invoice. Please check your spam. If, if it doesn't arrive, let me know. Um, because if you don't do that straight away, then it becomes a little bit um, awkward because after, say, a week, you think, oh, did they get the invoice? Could it have gone in their spam? Um, it, it's too so soon to chase. Um, perhaps, you know, they've got 30 days, but they normally pay sort of straight away. So if it's just part of your process, um, then then um, then that's completely acceptable. I've sent your little text. I've sent your um, sent your um, invoice by email. If you don't receive it, let me know. Um, so that that can help with with that side of things. So um, sorry, back to monthly statements again. Um, things can get overlooked. Um, perhaps if you have several invoices to the same um, customer, it could be that some don't all end up um, where they where they should do. Um, so again, if they've got a statement, it's a summary of um, this month. This is how much you um, owe me, and um, just a sort of like reminder. Um, generally, people find that if they haven't been issuing statements and they start to issue statements, they will find um, an increase in the in the amount of um, in the amount of their debtors that are paying um, quicker, more, more promptly, just because um, it's it's a reminder. Um, and, and sometimes that's what people need. Uh, obviously, everybody these days has such busy lives, so many things to to think about so the more that you can politely um, remind people that you need um that you need paying um then the the more uh, the more that 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 will happen so these are just basic things that you can um, build into your processes that will hopefully ensure that you get paid um paid um quicker just just sort of generally in the sort of natural order of things um there will then of course, be instances where um, customers still haven't paid. So again, I would, um, as part of your process, um, you could sort of have a system where you send the invoices as you've done the as you've done the work. Get the invoices out promptly. Um, obviously, make sure that you've allocated all the payments in from your customers, so you know exactly who owes you what still. And then perhaps at the end of each month, it doesn't need to be a month end. Perhaps it might work for you to have a different date i would suggest for the for the um purposes of routine and habit and making sure things get done have a fixed date each each month where you say right on the last day of the month or on the 15th of the month or on the 20th of the month we send out our statements um to all of our customers so that way you can send out just um if you're using um software to to maintain your accounts and that is up to date then um, it is likely that that will have a function that will um, enable you to quickly send out um, all of your statements. And then um, depending on the terms, so depending on how quickly you're asking your customers to pay, you should then quite be keeping a quite uh, close eye on any customers that are overdue. And um, perhaps if they've had a statement and they still um, are overdue perhaps a quick phone call just to ask them have they received their invoices is, is there any is there any problems um and that can um that can um expedite um payment or also alert you of any issues so it could be oh yes yeah, so i had a query on that invoice sorry i hadn't got around to telling you again not your fault it is really your customer's responsibility to tell you straight away if they've got any queries but initiating the conversation can um can that can make that um sort of um happen if it hasn't already or your customer may say like i'm really really sorry i've got um we've got some really bad um cash flow um problems and that can open up the opportunity to say okay well um what can you afford to pay and can you you know can you pay me over a over a couple of weeks just sort of informally and um, resolve the issue that suits both you and your customer so because of course they they should pay you um when you have asked them to pay you 
Um, and there's lots of things um, like that in, in life, but we need to sort of just obviously preempt. You don't want to damage your relationship with your um, with your customer. So that can obviously sort of smooth, um, smooth things out. Um, so then obviously things progress. If you if you're somebody hasn't paid you, um, then um, and 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 there's no problem with the service or the product that you've um, provided. Of course, if you've provided a product um, to them, it could be that in certain scenarios, you may have retained the right to um, to, to to ownership of that um, of that item. Um, so that can that all of these are steps. But the thing to remember is that everything that you need to do to recover that money, it takes you time and your your time effectively is is your money. So you want to um, aim to get paid as quickly as possible, but in the least effort and maintaining a good professional relationship with your um, with your customer. Uh, of course, it may be, sadly, sometimes you may um, get to a scenario where you've got somebody that's difficult and they refuse to pay for, um, for one reason or another, and you have to actually consider enforcing um enforcing that um that debt so there's several ways that you can um do this and it depends on the volume if if you're unfortunate enough to have um this a lot then you may um use a debt collector um who will collect the debt for a, um perhaps a percentage of the fee um uh, percentage fee of of the amounts that they're collecting um or or you um can look at the small claims court if it's a small um, a small amount um, that's a reasonable cost for you to do so and the cost of um, the cost of your claim is added to your claim so if you are going to pursue that um, I would suggest looking at guidance on say for example citizens advice if you're a member of the federation of small businesses they also have good guidance um, on this because there are certain things that you need to do so um, predominantly if you are going to take um, court action, which is what the small claims is against somebody, um, you need to have um, written to them, you need to have um, given them a certain, a certain, um, a certain level of information and, and be able to effectively, when you get to a judge, if that happened, be able to say, yes, I, you know, I can show you that they do owe me this money. This is the proof of, of why they owe the money. And um, I've had no um, contact or this is the contact and we've not been able to resolve this issue, but I can prove that they do owe me the money. And um, and I have been reasonable. I have given them plenty of time. So again, there's a cost implication because although the although the court fee is added to the claim, if you're not successful in your claim, then you won't get that court fee back. And then, of course, it's important to um, think about the situation of the person um, who owes you the money, because um, if they don't, if they are ordered by the court and you are successful and they're ordered by the court, court to pay, then they will end up with a, a CCJ, a county court judgment. If they've already got a whole load of those, then they probably won't worry about that. So then you might have to enforce that. Um, and you, if they're employed, for example, you could have that deducted from their wages. Um, so it's it's there's a lot to look into. I'm not going to go into all of the details of the small claims um sort of procedure um if you if that's something that you wanted to do then i would um urge you to sort of um take advice if you're not sure um on on what you what you need to do but there's plenty of guidance on money claim on online but uh, ultimately at all costs try to avoid that if you can and and that's quite that can quite easily be done by um by keeping the communication open with your um, your customers and you know treating treating them as you would expect to um, you know sort of be be sort of treated so if they've got a query make sure that they're satisfied with your um, answer maybe if they ask you for some information make sure you give them that informa information if they've got a question on the invoice answer the question without being defensive um, just you know sort of answer it in a in a sort of factual way um, because ultimately then they're going to be more happy to um, to return to you in the future so hopefully this helps so some simple ideas of how you can generally um, make sure that people are paying you quicker and um, and that you don't have to have you don't actually end up having any um, bad debts as we as we would um, 
as we would call them, which is when someone doesn't um, end up paying and reduces the 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 sort of like the possibility of having to um, sort of look at um, debt recovery. Um, but don't be afraid of doing that if um, if that is um, so needed. But as with everything, um, it's all about sort of balance and taking um, an overview, taking a step back, taking the personal out of the um, situation and, um, and, and, and and making some balanced um, decisions on that. But hopefully if you're if you're putting everything in place to get paid promptly, it's not something that you will um, need to worry about because of course mostly um, mostly customers do pay um, most customers do pay on time. Um, generally the issue is um, late payment and this as I say there's lots of things that you can do um, to help with that because um, quite often it can just be oversight or a minor sort of cash flow um, delay. So I um, hope that this helps and um, please do take a moment as I said to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.